And another spot getting some love after a busy 4th of July is Avila Beach. KSBY News anchor Claudia Busio has more on the cleanup effort led by Echo Slow. She joins us now live in studio with more. Claudia? That's right, Nina. Volunteers woke up bright and early to give back to our community and also to Mother Nature. From fireworks in Pismo, a dog parade in Avila, and a sandcastle contest in Cayucas, the Central Coast held strong to that 4th of July spirit. But now it's time to get back to work. We're helping to clean up the area after July 4th. So after everyone's been enjoying the beaches and going home, we're helping to collect all the trash that's been left behind. Wednesdays are official beach days for Isabel Garza. So she brought her family along to support Echo Slow's cleanup at Avila Beach. We wanted to get a good parking spot and pick up trash first. And we came with my son, this is my son Felix. And I have an older son and my daughter and my mom who lives in San Luis still met us here. Volunteers grabbed a let's do this bucket, a trash picker and gloves to remove as much garbage as possible. I see a lot of trash, too much trash, especially plastic. Echo Slow also hosted a cleanup in Cayucas. Turnout's been pretty good for a Wednesday morning, I would say, especially after a big holiday. So um, I think we have about 10 people here and about 15 up in Cayucas. The nonprofit Pathpoint, which works with folks with special needs, did their part too. We come out um, for one hour, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, to do a cleanup. Basically, trying to keep the boardwalk here clean. As time went by, bags got heavier and heavier. They say if you bring it in, you take it out. But, um, you know, we're here to make sure that if they don't, we're, we're right a step behind them. Volunteers have a message for beachgoers. Just look around before you leave and take any trash that you can because if we appreciate it, the animals appreciate it. And sometimes we'll have really big cleanups where we're pulling hundreds of pounds, but it's just as important to get the little stuff as getting the big stuff. So just doing whatever you can and making sure to um, pick up trash, but also pack your own trash. If you are looking for opportunities to help out with future cleanups, you can visit echoslow.org to sign up as a volunteer. Live in the studio, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. Claudia, thank you. The next big event Echo Slow is hosting is the Creeks to Coast Cleanup, which is taking place on September 23rd.